and we are back with Warhammer Total War. I am Pretentious Jack, and we're going to get stuck into a battle at the Pillars of Grugni. And I'm imagining this might be the only positive battle that we have for this entire episode, because we've been up against it from the Greenskins, to be honest. And uh, we're not going very well. They are attacking our home territory, which is the only territory that we have now, as we are not really going too well. But... We will uh, get stuck into this battle straight away, and hopefully we can come away with a solid win, and uh, hopefully try and do something positive in this episode, rather than just getting absolutely destroyed constantly. So we'll just uh, put these uh, little glyphs on people. Uh, we'll put you plus 10% armor, we get... Stoicism on these lot, and we shall get going. Now we have everybody involved. We've got our Thane, we've got our Runesmith, we've got Thorgrim, plus a few other extra bits and pieces as well. We've got two cannons and a fair amount of uh, firepower, so we should be okay. And uh, let's get stuck in straight away. Alrighty, here we are. We have our line. Uh, we don't have much in terms of good solid ground we could potentially hide in within the trees use the uh, the trees as an advantage to stop their flanking i think that's what we will do so i'll be back once we have set up all right so that's what we're gonna go with i think we uh we've got our dwarf warriors hidden in the trees just in case they try to flank around and we can uh, surprise them we've got our long beards on the wings with our long beards with great weapons in the center with thorgrim uh, we have our Thane, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Th Thane, and we have our uh, Runesmith, our cannons at the back, with our Quarrelers facing out just a little bit, with our Thunderers in the middle, and we should do okay. Now we do have our uh, allies coming from the right hand side, and we should hopefully be able to flank them, uh, or bring them in, hopefully. Alright, so here we go. So our, uh, uh what do you call it? Our uh, reinforcements have arrived. We're just going to bring them in, uh, try and fortify this uh, right hand side a touch, and hopefully we can uh, sweep across and get the rest of their army. Our cannons are firing. Hopefully they can get some damage done. And uh, fingers crossed we don't take too much damage. Okay, we are in combat on this right hand side already. Uh, we will attempt to stop the goblin wolf rider archers. We are firing at them with our quarrelers. Fingers crossed we can get some of them down. Here comes the brunt of their army. We are doing okay on our left hand side by the looks of it. We will just bring these around, bring our long beards around, bring our Thane in. Alright, we are under attack on the right hand side as well. We'll just use our quarrelers to get stuck into them. Uh, they're trying to flank us. We block that. Bring everybody in. Okay, we'll just bring. Close up that gap. Right, let's go. Get in there. That's a good hit on everybody in there. Just use that. Our Thane gets stuck in. Bring in. Ah, no, 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 no. We're being flanked. Just use one to get stuck into there. Good. Right, we seem to be going okay. We've got them on the run. We'll just move into these from behind we got oh, no, 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 no. pick up pick up pick up pick up continue firing please okay let's just make sure we get these guys in come in from behind Thorgrim's doing okay just use Get our runesmith in. Okay, they're wavering. 
Doing okay on her right hand side. Athena's is getting stuck in. Get that going again. Keep firing. Victory is within our grasp. Let's just make sure that we are safe. Uh, we don't need to be too hasty. Just use the ring again. Excellent. We've got warriors fleeing. Don't need to be chasing them. We need to get you back involved. Get involved. Well, they're starting to pull it back. But I think once our soldiers get involved properly, get that going again. 17 seconds on that. Okay, you lot can stop chasing. You can come back in. That should be victory. There we go. Whew. All right, let's end the battle there. Alrighty, decisive victory. Uh, we'll take the replenishment, I think. Yeah, we need the gold as well. Okay, so I think we have to uh, get stuck into this lot down here. We're just going to uh, test it out, see what they do. Uh, yeah. Uh, we will... Uh, we will just quickly retreat. We're not going to take that. Uh, we will sit in the Pillars of Grimney. And we kind of have to let Mount Squighorn try and defend itself. They do have a good a good uh, garrison, so hopefully they can uh, do a bit of damage and then we can uh, head into them. But meanwhile, we will uh, just take some extra soldiers. We're going to take a gyrocopter and we're going to take two of them uh, as I think that will help us significantly. And we will uh, end the turn. Alright, so we're under a siege again. Uh, we're not going to show this one, no need. Uh, we might just auto-resolve it, actually, as we will uh, get a decisive victory. We lost 96 men. We will take the release of captives yet again, get the gold. Time for a reckoning. Okay, so the scabby eye is destroying the green skins. Great. Fantastic. Uh, not great news at all. Yeah. So, they doesn't look like they are assaulting Mount Squighorn anymore. So we're gonna have Ready. we're just gonna level up everybody. So let's have a look. We're gonna take Lord of the Deeps for uh, Thorgrim. With our Runesmith, we're gonna take Damping, which uh, re take. Uh, Reduces the winds of magic in the local region, which is good for us as well. We will take hard to hit with our Thane. Gives him a better melee defense. Now, uh, we will wait one turn to see to get our gyrocopters, and then we will uh, probably head out and try and see if we can get rid of these armies. So we'll end the turn into turn 90. So a lot has not really happened in 90 turns. We've been... Uh, Attempting to push out and we've done a whole lot of nothing by just <laughs> All right, here we go This is gonna be a big fight This could be the fight that determines whether or not if we win or lose well if we lose we're not gonna win We still got a long way to go if we want to win, but if we lose this fight, I think that will uh, Pretty much destroy us right so the skull takers a neutral army have decided to uh, come into view outside of Mount Squighorn 
So, right, let's, uh, we're gonna, we're going to come out and attack them. Now this is going to be a huge fight. Uh, we are the favorites. We will just uh, add this to one of our long beard units. Long beard units. And I'm confident we'll win. They don't have their major generals, but we will uh, get stuck in straight away. This is a huge fight. We must win this. If we lose, I'm pretty sure we lose. And uh, we won't have time to... Uh, get an army together to uh, defend Karaza Karak properly. Alright, so here we are. We have our allies coming in from the right, or the east, I guess. Uh, we will set up again within the forests. Uh, this tactic seemed to work well last time, so we will do it again. Alright, so there we go. We've got our left flank probably defended better than our right flank with the the incoming units of our reinforcing army uh, we will be able to shore up our right flank fairly quickly and uh, hopefully we can do that uh, our got Thorgrim in here we got uh, our runes no sorry our Thane and our runesmith our uh, thunder is in the middle our quarrel is either side looking for the shots on the flanking enemies and uh, let's go. Fingers crossed we can win this fairly decisively. All right, there is our reinforcements. Let's bring them in straight away. Get our miners in on the flank. Bring in our it's wolf warriors in as well. All right, there we go. We're firing straight away with our cannons. Looks like they got a good shot in by the looks of it before they disappeared. All right, so we are being fired upon. I uh, don't think... So, yep, yeah, we are still firing. We're going to be firing at their rock lovers mainly, trying to get them down. Our lord is under attack, which is uh, not great early on. But they will be in range shortly as our soldiers come in and shore up our right flank. Looks like the here they come. They're going to start moving a bit quicker now as they come into range of our missile units. Alright, here we go. It looks like they're... I don't understand why they're waiting with their other soldiers. They're going to... Uh, Lose a lot more men that way. See if we can't get into these guys quickly. Just uh, bring our Thane in. Get stuck in, lads. Just put our ring in there. That's a good hit. Ooh. 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 That hurts them. Alright, good. We're pushing out early. Our rock lover is still firing. Ex uh, sorry, that's not excellent, but we're firing at them, which is good. Let's just keep firing. There, oh, four chariots seem to be uh, doing a bit of damage in here. Just bring everybody in. Don't need to be chasing them down too much. Now they're in behind us. That's not good. Alright, we need to press on. Warriors flee. That's not good. Just, just turn these guys around. Make sure we're firing at them. We're okay in here. 
we need to get these guys across. Keep fighting, lads. Alright, good. Pick up your cannon, please. Get you coming across, get you stuck in here, please. We're going all right on this flank. It's okay. I think what we have to do is we have to retreat back, fall back in line. Where is our cannon? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Uh, did he destroy all the cannons? The bastards. Make sure he's still firing. Just turn that back on. We need to get them all back into range, essentially. Because at the moment, they're drawing us out, and it's not going well. So we're just going to move these guys forward. Make sure they keep firing. Get these guys back in. And just protect our infantry unit. Because as soon as they get into range, they're not going to do well. Thorgrim. Get that fire in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's what we like to see. Excellent. Get our runesmith back. You can get your good. They're back in. Right. Fire in there. Alright, so we have them on the run. Our cannon is still firing. And for the life of me. Oh, there they go. So the cannon is still going. The rock lover is firing again. That's not ideal. See if we can't just get stuck into their lord. Everybody's firing. Everybody seems to be doing okay. Right, let's uh, use our cannon. See if we can't take down this rock lubber. Make sure you guys are still firing. We've almost got victory, which is odd. Excellent. Get stuck into there, using our lords well at the moment. Just bring our lords back into the fold. Now, we've got them all running. Okay, so now our cannons are firing into them. I don't understand what they're quite doing. They're not uh, doing anything positive, that's for sure. They're just kind of standing there and taking damage. And we're just going to uh, fire until they stop. Well, until they do something, essentially. So we will uh, bring our ranged units forward. Well, they just bleed for no reason. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what happened there, but uh, we've won, which is excellent. And we will end the battle. All right, so we will again uh, take the treasury. We need the gold and the replenishment rate. So that's uh, good. So we defeated Azdrag Blackbog of the Greenskin War. Got armor of fortune. It's pretty good. 
the High King. All right, so we need a technology real quick. We're going to grab Call Upon the Oaths of Old, uh, which is recruitment cost of minus five for long beards, but it gets us uh, access to some better technologies around it. So we're going to grab that. That'll take six turns. Now, I'm expecting Azhag to come at us uh, this time. Send me to vengeance. Uh, we will be replenishing our units. Now, uh, we, I'm expecting Mount Squighorn to come under attack at some point. Uh, it hasn't yet, but we seem to be surviving somewhat. And we're going to just quickly grab the gem mineshaft, uh, which will uh, help us uh, gain some extra resources. Uh, so we'll do that. And we will uh, end the turn yet again. I'm expecting another battle coming at us. Okay, so the Engineer's Guild is in uproar. The Master Engineer tasked with developing the plans has presented his initial prototypes together with a proposal to roll the improvements out within a matter of months. We've read this before. Um, so we've completed it. We have now two gy gyrocopters in the army. We've g been given 1500 reward. Now we have another quest. We need to move any character to the following region. Karak Asgal. Holy crap, that's a long way. So early test flights of the gyrocopters have been fruitful. The machines have shown that they are ready to be deployed against the enemy. In addition, during long-range testing to verify operational ranges, the test pilots observed a large gathering of greenskins around a location in the Badlands known as the Pillar of Bone. Thorgrim dispatches a ranger to gather a more detailed intel intelligence from the area. So we need to move a character down there. And we've been given a, another grudge. Uh, Giesbit's uh, backbiter yet again. Uh, he's uh, constantly under... Under oath, kind of. Okay, so we're going to just level up Thorgrim quickly. And we're going to grab Rally. Uh, this... Affects every, all allies in uh, 40 meters to give plus 16 leadership, uh, which can help us. But also give us access to these things, which is what we're after. Right. What do we do here? Our army is slowly being replenished. I think we try and right our grudge by going after Grease Bits. Let's just see what the, uh, the battle is like. Alright, so I think this is what we do for the end of the episode. We're going to fight Azhag, the Slaughterer, and Greasebit's Backbiter. Now, it's not a very dangerous army, though Azhag's army is a little bit more dangerous than our own. Uh, but, we now have our new Gyrocopters. Fun times. Uh, let's. Uh, we're going to fight the battle, and fingers crossed we can come out with another victory. Alright, so here we are. Here is our terrain. Uh, fairly decent in terms of getting them all to come into this little pit of death, if you like. Right, we're just gonna set up and we'll be back. Okay, that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, we've got... Uh, hang on, let's just change that slightly. Alright, so this is what we're gonna go with. Uh, we've got our cannons up front, just so I can get them in range as soon as possible. We're gonna have our gyrocopters go for their chariots and uh, on both sides, hopefully stop them. And then we will move our... Uh, see if they come at us first. So we, knew, we know we have their reinforcing army coming in from the right, so we may have to uh, kind of set up on the left hand side and let them come into us. Maybe see how they go, but uh, let's go in. A bit stuck in. It looks like it appears they are going to come at us. Here come their reinforcements. Uh, so what we will do, just bring our units in front of our cannons. And we will drive out at their orc war chariots with our Gyrocopters. There we go. Bring our warriors. 
a little. The chariots are getting in us a little bit. Alright, here they come. The rest of their army seems to be coming in dribs and drabs. We'll take that. Hopefully, we can get this left hand side sorted early. I'm just gonna come into there, into the Night Goblin Archers. We are firing with everybody. Oh no. Right, we'll leave them alone. Uh, we'll bring these guys over to this wing. We'll leave that alone. Excellent stuff. Our gyro bombers, uh, gyrocopters, sorry, I seem to be doing well. Just uh, get stuck into them. Right, we will reinforce this left hand side. We're not gonna charge out just yet. Let's just bring everybody in a little bit. Get everybody closer. Uh, get these across. Okay, now we need to get this guy across. Let's bring our Roomsmith out here. Get him stuck into Giesbitz. Got our ring. We'll use that in here. Alright, now we're going to be flying hard. Let's just uh, use our gyrocopters to get on them. Use our other gyrocopters on them as well. Get these guys across. Let's just move. Get you firing. Ah, firing, please. Not moving. Just uh, move you across. It's fairly close at the moment. Excellent. Everybody's stuck in here. Use. Where is our th uh, Runesmith? Get that going. Thorgrim, you're doing okay. Yep. That's what we want you doing. Get you across. Get you stuck in here. Let's just. Dwarf Warriors. Get them stuck in. Get our cannons. Pick up, please. Get you firing at people. Pick up, please. Get you firing at people as well. Get our gyrocopters firing. Keep them going. Get you firing in here. Get you firing on these chariots. Firing in there. Oh no, our runesmith. Our thanes. Dorgrib, what are you doing all the way out there? Get back. Where is our runesmith? Where is he? He's running over there. That's okay. He's not going to die, I don't think. This is very, very close at the moment. The enemy lord is dead. That means Giesbitz is dead. Get you firing in here. Right, you're good. Seem to be winning. Get back in, please. Where is uh, Azhag? That's the, my question. Where is the old lad? Yeah, there's Nashrak. Let's get you in there. We appear to be winning. He's taking on a lord by himself. You're good. This is just a mess. 
unit has been wiped out. That's not good. Another unit has been wiped out. No. I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Oh, fuck. That's not what I wanted to do. Bring everybody back in. Use our... More uncovering foes. Orc begins. It's okay. Alright, there we go. That's a win. Woo! That's a close victory, though. Not decisive, but we'll take it. Close victory, but we will take the treasury yet again. All the way to the bank. We want our casualty replenishment. There we go. Azhag the Slaughterer uh, defeated. 750 treasury. We've also de defeated Rend Blackbog. And Geese Bit Backbiter is finally dead. We've got the Master Rune of Groth One Eye. Uh, what does that do? It gives them plus 8 leadership. Nice. And we will move them back to the Pillars of Grugni. Uh, we need to train. Well, I think we need more long beards, essentially. So we'll get two more units of long beards. And uh, another unit of warriors. And uh, that'll do, pig. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. All the way to the bank. We're going to get uh, dwarf keep. Excellent. So we've pushed out a little bit, we've defended as well as we can so fingers crossed uh, we can they're kind of stuck here they have to come through us to uh, to get back to base though I guess they could head north uh, but let's just end the turn there so we have a, an army who has appeared just here Zagrak the Blood Reaper or Zagrak Blood Reaper Goblin Great Shaman it was just appeared with a bunch of chariots and just basically a uh, some trolls as well, a goblin rock lobber. Great. Fabulous. Can't wait for that to uh, come anywhere near us. Right. Uh, we will... We're going to do a watch room as I feel we need the extra garrisons in here. I think we go after Zugrak. Is he in our book of grudges, I wonder? Uh, okay, so no. He's not in our book of grudges. Let's march. But... I think what we have to do is we have to stay put for now. Uh, they're more than welcome to come at us. And I think we end the turn again. So a quick, quick one too with the turns. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we are besieged. And we are being raided as per usual. Right, so we need to uh, come out and attack them and this is what we will do on the next episode where we will uh, defend ourselves against Zugrak Blood Reaper uh, with his highly mobile army it must be said but I'm fairly confident we just need to make sure that they uh, they don't come through us too much it's gonna be a challenge I'd imagine but this is what we will do 
So, as we continue to defend against the Greenskins, uh, this is probably what we will be doing for a little while as we try and uh, keep their armies at bay. But if you've enjoyed the episode, give it a like. And if you've enjoyed it more than that, give it a subscribe. I'd be very, very grateful. And until next time, have a good one.